Hi, my name is Steph and I'm the tour planner here at McCoy Getaways. I'm here to tell you about our Boston trip coming up in March 2023. We're very excited about this one. I don't know if you know this, but Boston is the place to be on St. Patrick's Day weekend. So we're going to have a blast while we're there. I actually am lucky in the past couple of years, I've been to Boston a couple of times. And if you're unfamiliar with that city, it is, it's very special. Um, so we highly suggest that you jump on our bus and come with us. It's going to be a blast. Um, so let's just, we're going to start these slides here. So the main topics of the trip that we're going to be discussing today are going to be your hotel accommodations, your itinerary, as well as some of the things that you're going to get to see and do while you're in Boston. Now let's talk about where you'll be staying. So you'll be staying at the Aloft Hotel by Marriott in the Seaport District, which is right by South Boston, which is actually the best area to be for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so that's uh, going to be really fun for everybody. Lots of stuff to do in the area. And now let's talk about some of the amenities that you're going to be able to take advantage of while you're at your hotel in Boston. Um, there's going to be a gym, a pool. Um, there's a bar actually in the hotel itself and attached to the hotel uh, is a really, really good Brazilian steakhouse. So just in case you do want to stay cl very close to home, one of the nights for your dinner, uh, it's a really good option for you. Now let's talk about your itinerary. So day one is more of a travel day. Uh, we're going to depart pretty early. Uh, we're going to be le leaving Belleville at 6 a.m., then Napanee at 6.30, Kingston at 7, and then Gananoque at 7.30. After we cross the border into the States, uh, we're going to hit up the Stuyvesant Plaza, which is actually in Albany, New York. Um, there's a number of boutique shops, as well as some really good spots to have lunch. So uh, some sit-down places, as well as fast food, so a good variety for you. Um, you're actually going to even find a sushi restaurant there if that is something you're interested in. Uh, I would be. <laughs> um, we will get to Boston around 5 p.m. We'll check into our hotel and then you have the night to explore on your own and kind of check out the city. The next day is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, March 17th. Uh, your day is going to start off with a tour of the city. So we actually have a local guide step on the bus for the day with us. Um, until one o'clock, which is which is great because this is your first full day in Boston. And so you're going to be able to get to know it so that you can kind of plan your next day. The next day is going to be a free day. Once you're done um, with the tour at one o'clock, you'll head back to the hotel, get dropped off there. And then again, the best place to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day is South Boston. Um, but if that's not really what you want to do, you have the rest of the day to explore any area, Fenway Park, um, Quincy Market, any of those locations. Uh, and then day three, we're going to spend the whole day in Boston, um, pretty much doing whatever you want. But our motor coach is going to be coming to the hotel to pick those that want to head more into where um, Fenway Park is. So we're going to have a shuttle. So we'll have two drop off points, Fenway Park and Boston Commons Visitor Center, um, more central Boston, if that is where you would like to explore on your third day on the tour. Um, day four, we're going to travel home, but the best part is on our way back home, the tour is not over yet. Uh, we're going to stop in Western Massachusetts at the Great Awakening Brewery, and we're going to have some lunch, which is actually included in your tour price, um, a brewery tour, and then a tasting as well. Uh, if you're interested in trying some local beer in Western Massachusetts, and then we're going to get home in Kingston around 8.45 p.m. So not too late um, to be able to start your work week the next week if you are currently employed and not retired. Um, then we're, let's talk about the things we're, we're going to be able to do in Boston. There's a drop kick Murphy's concert that's going to be at MGM Music Hall. Um, those tickets are not included in your tour play, price and they are selling quickly. So if you did want to want to go to that, I highly suggest you buy your tickets very soon. You could also go on a pub crawl. Um, if you have any questions about what pub crawl to jump onto, uh, just give us a call here at the office. We're happy to recommend. And uh, you can also explore the Irish Heritage Trail. You could enjoy live music at a local pub, uh, visit any of the local museums. There's a lot of rich Irish history in Boston. Um, or take a tour of Fenway Park, which is a must see. It's home of the Red Sox since 1912. Um, or you can check out one of Boston's most picturesque areas. It's beautiful, it's called Beacon Hill. 
So the other really cool thing that we're doing here is for our trips that we're putting together and you have some free time as our guests, we're putting together a tips and travel guide, restaurant recommendations and whatnot. And for the Boston trip, we just put one together that's specific to St. Patrick's Day. So for that, that's for you to use while you're in Boston. And if you have any questions about it at all on the trip, your tour escort will be there for you to answer any of your questions. So now that we've covered all of Boston, we hope to see you there.